Hey guys, Dabu7, March 4th, 2014, with an interesting find, interesting series of events unraveling here over Crimea. Is Crimea the focus point of war over all these political reasons that they're giving us, or is it more than that? Now, what you're looking at in front of you right now is not the actual picture because these pyramids that have been found in Crimea, the oldest on the planet, are underground. Now, I know this sounds crazy to many people right now. How come you've never heard of this? Well, the reason, if you do your research on this, is because of funding and because nobody really wanted to mess with it. The guy that found these was looking for water, building different cr contraptions, and um, stumbled upon these pyramids by accident and found a shaft that went straight down into the middle of one, where they claim also that there was the mummy of an unknown creature. That makes the story even more interesting. Like I said, you can Google it and look up many links Regardless of any detail, my point is they're there. He pulled in people from around the world. They acknowledged that these pyramids in Crimea are the oldest on the planet. But they're buried by sediment, clay, and one of them is underwater. As you can see right here. Now, how interesting is it that all of this stuff breaks loose about the Ukraine, and Russia doesn't rush across the border to secure its pipelines or anything else. They swoop into this one area right here in Crimea and heavily fortify this whole end. And where is Russia's huge fleet based at? Right there. This is the shaft that leads down to the top of this pyramid. They said that it's got a truncated top, uh, kind of like a Mayan pyramid, but the outside shaped, not stepped, but slanted like a regular pyramid. Now, they can't get any precise photos of this, like I said, because it's underground um, just by using equipment. And another interesting characteristic about this is they did all of these tests and found that the frequencies of 900 by 109 hertz and 7, 700 by 109 and 500 by 109 were being emitted by three different beams. And that the whole field around the pyramid was 10 by 109 hertz. These were the interesting characteristics found. Now the guy that found these in this article, this guy's doing a story on him. Um, he touches on it from, you know, an outside perspective and gives his honest opinion that they're there, but he also devils in some of the claims that, like, this guy that found them right here says that there was 30-some pyramids found all, all across Crimea, but these were of the most significant right here in this region. Now, all of this information is just mind-blowing. You can't make this stuff up. Here, here we have World War III about to break loose, and you want to tell me that all of a sudden the world's oldest pyramids are sitting right at the heart of this? And you've got more Russian troops s centered down here defending this whole block than anywhere else. They've got some posts up here by the border, but they are hunkered in down here around this. It's just an interesting observation, to say the least. And I'm going to tell you this. I know soldier buddies straight up that were in Iraq and came, came back and have told me that they pulled things and dug things out of that desert in Iraq that are not supposed to be known by man. And you do your research, you're going you're gonna to find they found, uh, what was it, the burial place of Gilgamesh in the ancient cities in Baghdad. All of this stuff they've uncovered. They're going to war to find these ancient technologies, in my belief. And like I've said it before, and I'll say it again, these pyramids had a lot to do with something in the balance of this planet. And it's being kept secret big time. 
I'll leave links to all this, guys. Literally, just breaking ground on this. Underground pyramids, the oldest in the world. And if you go digging, you're going to find that there's not a lot of information because they don't know. And when this guy went to the researchers, they kind of turned a cheek to it. I don't know. If I was an institute, I would think that they would be all over it. But once again, he kept saying it all came down to money. I guess it always does. And he, no one had the money to do it. Well, Obama's pledging $1 billion to the Ukraine, as i just seen come across the ticker, guys. What do you got to say about that with your ta tax dollars? A $1 billion loan to the Ukraine. Maybe they can go dig them up then with that money, since we're paying for it, huh? I'll leave links, as always, eyes open. Till next time, Tabu7. Peace.